Hello, and welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living, here on Supreme Master Television. And welcome to Canada. It's fall in Canada, and this is a wonderful time of year. The temperature is lovely. The leaves of the sugar maple tree are beautiful. And one of the very nice things about fall is that there's a very plentiful, bountiful supply of fresh fruits and vegetables. And today I'd like to show you a cooking show made with one of my favorite vegetables. One of the most enjoyable vegetables of fall is the pumpkins. They're very beautiful to look at. Uh, you can use them as decorations. They store for many months in the house and you can cook with them a wide variety of dishes. So today I'm going to make something out of this little pie pumpkin. Come on, let's go to the kitchen. All right, so here we are in the kitchen and we've brought our little pumpkin in. And what I'm gonna make with it is harvest pumpkin scones, or some people call them scones. Um, so, this is a very nice uh, dish at this time of year in fall. It smells wonderful when it's cooking. So I'm gonna tell you what the ingredients are for this dish. You need half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, a whole tablespoon of ginger. This is what gives it a lovely, lovely smell. And a half a cup of organic cane sugar, half a cup of vegan butter, two cups of organic white flour, unbleached white flour, a cup and a half of organic whole wheat flour, and two cups of pureed pumpkin. Now I'm going to actually cook this pumpkin up and make a puree out of it. If you don't happen to have a pumpkin at home, you can also use the can. All right, so to make pureed pumpkin, uh, we first of all chop this pumpkin up. You just make a little hole in the pumpkin with the point of your knife to get, the, get it started. It's fairly hard to cut, so you'll need a, a good sharp knife. And then you need to remove the, the center, the soft part where the seeds are. Now you can actually use the seeds too. You can wash off this uh, bit of pulp and take those seeds and put a little olive oil and a little salt on them and bake them and they're absolutely delicious. So there's no waste to a pumpkin. Uh, they're good for you too. Pumpkin seeds are very good for you. So just put that to the side and I'll cut this into finer pieces here so it's easier for me to peel. To make the puree you need to uh, steam the pumpkin for about 10 or 15 minutes until it's soft. And you can just use a vegetable peeler to take that peel off. And then once it's peeled, chop it into uh, pieces. It doesn't really matter how big the pieces are. Finer pieces will cook a little faster. And then we're going to put that into the pot. And I need about two cups, so I'll keep uh, doing this until I think I have about two cups worth. So this has been steaming now for about uh, 10, 10 or 12 minutes and it's nice and soft. Just you can tell by you put a, a spoon through it and, and the texture is nice and soft. So I'm just going to put it in here and mash it up. See how soft it is, it mashes very easily. And this is basically how you make uh, pureed pumpkin. Pumpkin is very healthy actually. It's nice and orange, it's full of carotenoids, uh, and it's got lutein in it, which is very good for the eyes. So that's good enough. Mashed fairly finely. And now I need a couple of cups of that, which looks like most of what I've cooked up here. Pumpkin is uh, an ancient 
crop here in North America. It's, it's indigenous to North America, and it was one of the Native American good food crops for the winter. So there we go, a couple of cups, which is what I need. And I'll just put the rest of this aside, actually. It can also be eaten as a vegetable. Put a little salt and pepper and vegan butter over it, and it's very delicious. It's just like squash. <clears throat> so we'll just save the, the rest and have it as a vegetable one day. So now we can start preparing the scones. You can start by putting in the flour, a cup and a half of whole wheat flour, a couple of cups of white flour, organic, and the vegan butter. Now you want to mix these two up a little bit before you start. Break that vegan butter up. And you can use a spoon, you can use your hand, whatever you feel more comfortable with. This is such a nice uh, fall dish and when people come in, the, the smell of the pumpkin and the ginger is very inviting. So now we'll add the brown sugar, organic brown sugar, and the baking powder. These can all just be added in together, the baking soda, the ginger, and we'll mix those up so that the dry ingredients and the butter are very well mixed. And now we'll add the pureed pumpkin. And again, you can mix this with your hands or spoon. You don't, don't want to over mix it, but it, certainly all the ingredients need to be blended up well together. Now this looks just a little bit dry, so I'm actually going to add a bit more pumpkin, which is the moisture content in these scones. Okay, so now this is all mixed up. You can see it's formed a nice kind of a dough. So it's ready to cook. And we'll just put this on a baking pan. It's good to have a little bit of flour on hand because it can stick to your fingers and if you just tap a little flour on where it's needed, then it won't stick so much. So the traditional Scottish way, my father was from Scotland, of, of making these scones is to make them in a circle. Pat it down till it's about, oh, a couple of centimeters, one to two centimeters high depending on how thick you like your scones. And then before we put it in the oven, we'll cut it into pieces. And you can cut it into as many pieces as you want. I like to cut it into about 12 pieces because that is about the right size for a serving. All righty, there we go. The oven is ready. You cook it at, you cook in a fairly hot oven, about 425 degrees for about 12 minutes. So let's put it in. And while we wait, I'm gonna go and say a short prayer. It's uh, Thanksgiving at this time of year and I'd like to give God thanks for the very bounteous food that he has sent to us.
Hello and welcome back to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living, here on Supreme Master Television. Mmm, I can smell them. The harvest pumpkin scones are ready. I can smell the pumpkin. I can smell the ginger. I wish I could share it with you somehow over the uh, television, but uh, you just have to imagine it in your own mind. So let's take them out of the oven and see how they look. Yeah, they look like they're done. They're all nice golden brown. See the cut we made in them? I'll make individual uh, muffins. And let's take one out and have a look at it. This is a fairly substantial snack to have. So it's a great thing when you have company come over for afternoon tea. And sit down and, and have the scones ready when they come so that when they come in the door they get the, the fresh aroma of something that you have baked just specially for them. So there it is, the finished product. I enjoy them very much. And these scones are very delicious uh, if you serve them with uh, vegan butter. Slight, just slice them in half like this. And you can have vegan butter and a jam of your choice on them. And if you're having a guest come, it's nice to prepare a plate that looks very delicious and very welcoming to them. So I hope you enjoy these scones. And may your days be filled with God's bounty. Thank you for joining us today on Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living, here on Supreme Master Television. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. Till next time. details please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg